Okay, let's do this. I have a box. What's in the box? This should be my five finger sparring gloves. I'm hoping. I've been waiting for them. I had a tracking number. I'm assuming this is it. Uh, so I'm going to do a little unboxing and then I'm going to do a quick review, which is probably going to lead into um, a follow up review of actually testing the gloves and seeing how they perform. So this one will probably just be limited to just uh, an unboxing. So it's going to be fun. So this is them. I added a little bit more light, so should be able to see the gloves a little bit better now. I'm pretty excited about getting these gloves. They're uh, going to be a huge upgrade for me. Uh, before I get into these gloves, I'm going to grab the Red Dragon gloves uh, and give you a little go over of what I've been using for the past year and a half, two years or so. All right, so these are the Red Dragon gloves. These are essentially a modified hockey glove slash lacrosse glove. They're not initially built for sword fighting. They've been modified for sword fighting. The fingers were made to be segmented so they protect your knuckles a little bit more. They added a little bit more side padding. Um, they also added some plastic up on the top of the knuckles. Outside of that, it's, it's still a pretty base model of a hockey glove. What that means is it's very thick, particularly around your hand, plus you have this wrist protector, which is a, it's actually a pretty good shock absorber, but it binds your wrists up quite a bit. So if you try to do things where you're crossing your hands, as you can tell, that'd be very awkward with that. Um, I have a few friends who use these gloves who've actually cut this right off. I myself modified this glove a bit by cutting out a little bit of the inside. Um, the other area where these gloves are going to be a large benefit is because of wearing these gloves, I wear a pretty heavy duty forearm guard, which also binds right up against the edge of this glove and will push these out. And that also severely limited my wrist movement every time I had come back in this general direction, it would bind up against the padding and my wrist wouldn't have full movement backwards. I still had fun with them and they still definitely serve the trick. Um, their weakness, you can see the, the, the beating this finger has taken and particularly the thumb. I'm not sure if you can see that in the video there. Maybe you can, maybe you can't. Um, they aren't the most protected gloves in the world, particularly with the fingers. One of the biggest problems with these gloves is the part of the finger protection that's that's hard, you can see, isn't very wide. So it only covers the center part of your finger. So that's where these ones differ a little bit. The actual resin that they built the fingers out of, it's pretty hard. This will be the test, how well it stands up um, and how well it protects. But at the same point, it's wider. And it also curls around on the finger so even though these aren't like the old style that had a full finger cap around it these are the newer style which has an open bottom finger so you can feel the sword a little bit better with your finger uh, which is something I prefer so that's the reason why I got this version of the sword but just by looking at them right now I can tell the the width of the actual protection areas of the finger is far wider than the red dragon glove that I threw on the ground there the weak area I can see right away is the wrist. So in order to keep these very mobile, they created very thin padding around the wrist. Due to blows I've already received on the forearm and the wrist, particularly one a couple weekends ago right here. So I'm, I'm weary about the wrist protection on these gloves. It's not very thick. Plus, as you can see, they made it in a way that it can segment and fold upon itself. I don't know if you can see that. That's really great for mobility. Not so good if your wrist is like this in this position because now you're opened in those two spots. Everything else is pretty good. This here is very protective. Um, I have a 
uh, gabelson that I wear underneath that's pretty thick as well. So this plus the gabelson will be more than adequate farm protection. So let's try to get these on here now. They're, oh man, I'd hate to try to get in this if someone had a bigger hand than I have. Whoa. Hands aren't too big, that's, that's quite tight. So there you go. There's the glove. I like can see it comes quite far down my forearm. I really like this. It comes off the, the elbow. I am going to have to buy an elbow pad to go in here. But I really like this design, how it flares out a bit, sort of like an, pretty much like a gauntlet. So there isn't too much finger articulation because as you can see, it's, it's a solid piece. It's pretty hard material itself. Let's see if I can get the other glove on here somehow. That's tight. All right. There we go. Both gloves on. These are cool. I'm, I'm, I'm excited about these gloves. I think it's gonna be a game changer for me. My, the last setup I had was very restrictive. I can already tell, like just my ability to do that. That's for me a game changer in the way I can control the sword and the way I can control my hands while making a cut. With that being said, so how they feel with the sword. All right, here we are with my trusty Fetter Reganier. Very durable. This has been one of the better weapons I've had. Just I've never had anything come loose on it. Very good weapon, very durable. It, I've had it for a little over a year now and it's taken quite the beating. So feels pretty good. I can tell right now this is gonna be a game changer. Just, just the ability, the way to hold the sword, the way the wrist moves. I can tell right now this is gonna be completely different. It might even take me a little bit to get used to doing this since I've had the red dragons and the forearm guards for so long. It's probably going to take me um, a couple weekends of fighting with these to actually get used to it. The pickup test, because the fingertips of these are resin, as you might be able to see there. It's not bad. That works pretty well. One reason why I got these gloves, the red dragons are really bad because if you try to use one-handed weapons, it, uh, they were so big and wide that you couldn't get your hand in, if, if you had, a, let's say, a side sword that had um, a, a protector on it or um, a guard, let's say, on it, it was tough to get your hand in there. So I've got my saber, and if I can get my glove to work with that, it'll be able to work with any side sword, in my opinion, because this is a very restrictive guard, it's a very small guard. If I can get this hand in there, we're good to go. All right, here's the saber. So here comes the test. I have not tested this yet, so bear with me. It's not bad. Totally fits. All right, well, that's really it. I'm, I'm gonna do a more longer extended review of these over time, um, hoping to fight with them for a month to two months before I do another review, see how they hold out. Uh, once again, do more of a review for these wrists, see how they actually go for me. Um, and I hope that, I hope they last and I hope they, they treat my fingers well because my fingers for the past two and a half years have taken quite a beating. Um, I also hope they improve my, my swordsmanship in the fact that my wrists are now more mobile and I'll have a little bit more speed with my hands, um, which can only benefit me. And that's about it. Here's the gloves. Thanks for watching everyone and uh, have a good evening or afternoon or morning, depending on what time zone you live in, I guess. Um, I have no idea how to end these videos. So other than to say thank you again and um, maybe I'll have more of these videos coming in the future.